when Mike Leach wants to get away from everything, he comes here to Key West. What is it about this place? I mean, it seems easy to follow. Well, the, the, the biggest thing was, um, you know, you're in grade school and you got to color the map, you got to memorize the capitals, and I'm sitting here. What's this down here? I have to go there. It was always well, I might I, a goal I, I, to I get might, to Key West. I, I might only end up in ten states, but I will go to this spot down here, one way or the other. Leach purchased a home in the so-called Conch Republic in 2009. The spirit of the island. Its legacy of piracy and iconoclasm stirs Leech's buccaneering soul. What's your like bar spot around here? Do you have one? Well, I go hang out at Captain Tony's a lot, and that because I know the uh, the owner's a great guy, and so I just, part of it's just uh, interested in talking to him, you know? Right. And there's a lot of folks there, and I, they stuck my name on a stool. <laughs> A lot of, a lot of. You're writers. an honorary pirate. Hey, how you doing? Here's the thing about Mike. As somebody said, it's like tapping a balloon. You know, it, it, when talking to him, it, he drifts. You, whatever you say, he'll drift into another subject. That's because he's seriously interested in the other subject. If you Google Mike Leach, the first things that show up are videos with your thoughts on Bigfoot and UFOs. Yeah, we found bones of dinosaurs and everything else, but we haven't found bones that I've heard of, of Bigfoot. Um, on Earth, they say, oh, well, we're the only ones. We're, I mean, really, why? Have you been to the other planets? Have you checked out the other planets? Why do you think it is that people in the media, people like me, feel comfortable asking you these <laughs> questions and you respond to them when no one else in your position will? No one else will just, um, play along. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, I think, you know, coaching's a tunnel vision profession, no question. I guess I think my ideas are as good as anybody else's. So even though I suspect uh, there's no Bigfoot, uh, it'd be kind of interesting uh, if, if they exist and the legends are somewhat interesting anyway. He's a one-off. You could travel far and wide and you couldn't possibly find anyone even remotely like him, which is one of the most compelling things about him. Not yet 60, Mike Leach continues to win and to say what's on his mind, blazing his own trail through the college football landscape, which without him would be immeasurably less colorful. When people write the Mike Leach obituary, we hope uh, that's many years from now. Many, many years from now. How do you want to be remembered? Well, that's their problem. They're the one writing the obituary. I mean, what do I care? I'm dead. The only regret I'll have is that I didn't get to do more things, you know? 